praise the name of Jesus. I want to welcome you to a word from the Lord this week. And this week we are going to be looking at doing exploits in business world as a Christian. Doing exploits in the business world. I want you to know that God is a business-oriented God. Jesus said concerning the issue of talent. When he gave one talent and the person he gave talent did not trade with it, he called him wicked and slothful. He expected him to multiply what he has given to him. Business is activities that has to do with trading, producing profit. God is a profitable God. And the child of God must wake up and live up to God's expectation. What are the things you need to succeed in business world? You need knowledge. You need knowledge. Knowledge. The world is in darkness. And until you have the right light, you can influence the world. You are the light of the world. A city set on a hill that cannot be hidden. Somebody is saying that knowledge is expensive. Then try ignorance. <laughs> you will see how deadly ignorance could be. My mentor said, what you don't know, you don't know. And you will never know until you go to those who know. Do you have a knowledge of God, number one? God, knowledge of the will of God concerning that particular business you want to do? And two, do you have the knowledge of the business you are getting yourself involved in? Apprenticeship is foundation for success in anything. Miles Moro said that the greatest enemy of destiny is not sin. The greatest enemy of destiny is ignorance. You can't successfully build any business without knowledge of that business. Apprenticeship, learning the road, knowing and finding out the will of God. They are very crucial to you doing exploits in any particular venture. The impartation of God, because the business world is cruel and wicked, is like a, a river invested with all manners of crocodile. How can you swim through? You need the hand of God. You need clear vision from heaven. If you do these things, anything that you lay your hands upon will always flourish. I get things done cheaply. One, I'm learning. And two, I'm walking in the light of the will of God. This gives you strength and stamina. I commend you to God and the word of his grace tonight. That as you put the things you are hearing this week into practice, it turns around your business virtue in the name of Jesus. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. Make sure you stay tuned tomorrow on this same topic. God bless you. Bye for now.